So Amanda Serrano is the one really that she wants. Is this going to happen? I presume it is at that stage, at this stage. Yeah, well, Amanda Serrano, like a serial world champion in her own right, and uh, even Cindy's husband, who was training her on the night, was saying, Katie, you're not going to have as much luck against Amanda Serrano. She, he was shouting that in from ringside, so not exactly kosher, but uh, that's the kind of fight. If this is going to be used as sort of a build-up to that fight, it might work out, work out in the long run, but Amanda against Katie is a, is a proper, you know, that's a proper matchup. And so is that just coming down to money, or is Amanda genuinely into pursuing an MMA career? Well, Amanda, before Katie Taylor came along, Amanda Serrano probably felt she'd achieved all she could in boxing and was pursuing more lucrative options. But uh, there's definitely money to be made in herself and Katie, especially off the back of Saturday night, you know, mm. all the extracurriculars outside the ring and whatnot. So um, Katie Taylor is definitely an attraction. She just needs um, the right dance partner to really showcase her skills. Yeah. And Eddie Hearn's been talking about Rose Volante. That's the other big one. Yeah. Well, Rose Volante... And Delphine Pursun, who um, kind of reside in their own territories, they're going to need some money to be um, to be drawn out. And I think I mentioned to you last time that Eddie Hearn has all this billion dollar uh, broadcast deal. So they know that and they're just hanging in there for an extra couple of zeros on that paycheck. And who can blame them, really? And um, like the zone and matching, it's actually an interesting concept that they're um, they're going to Boston and they went to Chicago and they're going to Atlantic City in a couple of weeks. It's just they're trying to tap into these dormant American markets. Like it's easy to cycle around to New York and Vegas and back again, mm. but they're trying to draw into these, um, you know, dormant uh, boxing cultures like the Irish one, the Hispanic one. So it's an interesting concept. And Katie Taylor's at the forefront of that. There was other Irish interests on the card. Obviously, uh, Mike Kennedy won. Sean McComb got a win as well, and James Tennyson came up short in his world title. But yeah. uh, a great, a great night for the for Irish boxing. It's a pity it can't take place. In Ireland itself, but uh, Boston's the next best thing, I suppose. 